I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight.
by Zeus. What's with the size of the boars in this country? Off we go.
Come on. These people sure like building boats. Come here. I need your help with something. Come to see the richest man in Achaia, have you? You don't look rich. The richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. And I want for nothing at all. Rich? Wanting for nothing and calling me over to help. Doesn't make sense. Ah! <laughs> A mind that thinks for itself. Someone save me from this horror. Uh. Relax, relax. The name's Democritos. Renowned thinker of thoughts, writer of rights, and questioner of answers. I'm Alexios. And I've never heard of you. Probably says more about you than me, Alexios. <laughs> now you came here to help, hmm? So happens, I've uncovered the whereabouts of three divine mathematical discoveries. Mathematical discoveries? Really? Yes, really. The theorems, when combined with my own, will unlock the greatest mystery in the universe, which, as you know, is a place where mysteries strive to remain locked. Bring these three theorems to me, and I will reward you handsomely. So, you get the theorems, and I get the reward. From a man who seems completely disinterested in Drachmi. <laughs> Drachmi is for idiots! What I offer is far greater than that. But first, the theorems. Fine. What are they? Only the greatest achievements of rational thought. The original transcriptions of the Golden Ratio, the Pythagorean Theorem, and Zeno's Paradox. Tell me about Zeno's Paradox. Myself excluded, <laughs> Zeno Evelia was the world's brightest philosopher, known for writing paradoxes that could stump anyone. 
his work was thought destroyed, but I happen to know the priests in Locris saved it. About the golden ratio. Ah, the divine number. It's a guiding principle in architecture, sculpture, and is found in nature too. The original is wasting away in the dirty hands of sculptors in Argos. It should be with a mathematician. Like me. <laughs> Where am I going to find the Pythagorean theorem? It's all around you, of course. Deceptively simple, but subtly mysterious. The equation was apparently etched in stone. I heard the tale it was lost in sunken ruins between three islands that form a triangle. I'll find these theorems for you. Come back as soon as you have one.
Look at all these people. What do they need in their lives? Some excitement. A little magic. And you think you can deliver that? Magic. Is this magician bothering you? I am not a magician. I'm Thespis, an actor. Who are you? I'm Alexios, a Mystios. A life of drama, violence and tragedy. I can respect that. Thespis had this brilliant idea to put on a play in this town. He's got a reputation as a great actor, so I thought, this could be a huge success. I'm beginning to think I thought wrong. No, no, everything is under control. You keep an eye on the ticket sales, my darling Rodanti, and my friend Alexios will take care of everything else. I promise you, I know nothing about theater. Don't be so modest. You'll be known as the hero who made Leonidas and his 300 Spartans the play of the century. The play is about King Leonidas? You know, my family... Your family can come, of course. I'm sure they'll be proud to see you. Just help me tell that glorious hero's tale. I'll help Thespis put on the play. The story of Leonidas must have its due. Very well, then. I expect you to deliver. So what do you need done? Bring wine! Not for me, for our audience. So you think the audience won't listen to the tale of Leonidas unless they're drunk? They won't be drunk, just appreciative. Where are you keeping the wine? Well, I had wine, but then the local military commander commandeered... Hey, I should put that in the script. The Persian commander commandeered the, uh, casks. That's it. Then I'll have to re-commandeer it myself. Where is this commander? He kept the expensive wine and left the rest for his soldiers. An ordinary audience might be content with the cheaper drink. If we serve the best wine, we could get a more sophisticated audience. It might be harder to get to, but worth it. You speak my language! Better wine could mean a more generous crowd. Where are the two places the wine is being stored? Most of it is in the stable of Ares. But the good stuff? That's in the Miurgi Fort. I'll take care of everything. There's the stables. The wine in there should be good enough for horses, at least.
That's the one Thespis wanted me to bring for the audience. It doesn't smell great, but it should be reasonable. Come on. found your wine. Wonderful! Our guests will be in a fantastic mood before the play even starts. I sampled the wine. It's not vinegar, at least. Maybe I can offer some discounted tickets in the poorer parts of town. So, when will I be able to see this play? Well, there is a little complication with the cast. Finding them, I mean. You've lost your actors? None of them showed up at the last rehearsal. And the time before that, they seemed terribly discouraged. Someone might have been too harsh with them. No one will get paid if they don't come back. Exactly. There's three of them in all. They're playing Ephialtis, Xerxes, and the Enikis. I can give you an idea of where they might be. So, who's playing Leonidas? I am, of course. I trust no one but myself to carry the starring role. 
So Xerxes, king of the Persians, is in your play? Yes, and I found a tremendous actor to play him. He plays marvelous villains. He did mention that the Dispontian ruins were inspiring him. The Anikis. That was Leonidas' favorite lieutenant. Yes, and played by a charming young fellow. A bit of a nervous type, though. I was surprised when he told me he was going gambling in the great square here in Elise. So the traitor, Ephialtes, is missing. What a surprise. Usually, my good friend Tros is dedicated to his craft. But the last time we spoke, he seemed touched by a certain religious fervor. He said he would pray at the spring of Piera. I hope the actors turn up. When you find our actors, send them back to me. And do your best to encourage them. Our performance will be terrible if the actors' hearts aren't in it. And that means no one will pay us. Got it. This is terrible. I'm really going to need the Leonidas to get out of this mess. Are you playing the Anikis for Thespis? I was, but now I can't. I lost all I had gambling with the commander. Now he says I'm his slave until I pay off the debt. I'll be working for him for years. All right. Let's settle this debt. Oh, thank you. The commander is right over there. <laughs> you want to play another game? So glad you brought company. No, I... well... I need my friend back. He's due to act in a play. I think it's time you let him leave. What's the play? Leonidas and his 300 Spartans. This man plays the Enikis, Leonidas' lieutenant. Ah, a good military play. We need more of those on the stage. Of course, it would be best if they cast real soldiers instead of Nambi Pambi actors. I'm not! No, oh, never mind. So here is how it is, Mistios. This Malakas owes me a debt that he is paying off with service. Do you intend to take his place? How about you lead by example and take the role yourself? After all, you're a real soldier, right? By Ares' ass, of course I am! Sure, I'll be the Anikis in your little play. But what about me? My soldiers have plenty of sandals that need repairing and blades that need sharpening. I'm sure you'll keep busy while I'm showing these civilians how to act. You'll be great in the role. Just let your natural commanding spirit come through. I can do that. Compared to marching into battle, this would be like eating grapes off a vine. Report to Thespis at Pelops Market in Elise. He'll get a Dionikis. Just maybe not the one he's expecting. <sighs>
Thank the gods! Don't thank them yet. Let's get out of here. I don't think I could have survived much longer. Why were those Malakas keeping you prisoner? They were raving, convinced I'm the villains at play. They wanted me to lead them into a dark ceremony and tortured me to recite their spells. Nothing was enough. You're safe now. I am. But the witch has plans to harm the citizens of Elise. She says they wrong with her, so she poisoned the shipment of supplies for the city. I'll have to destroy those supplies before they get there. But now that she knows you're here, she'll leave her hiding place and flee into the wilderness. No one will be safe if she escapes. I can't let the people of Elise be poisoned. I'll destroy the supplies. destroyed the poison supplies before they could reach Elise. Well, that's good, but the witch is still out there. Nobody is really safe. I'm not safe. You think Xerxes was ever safe? Leonidas and his Spartans wanted him dead. His own mother will betray him, given the chance. Xerxes asking for safety. You're right, the king of Persia would never grovel. He'd crush his enemies before they could execute their plans. I'm glad you see it that way. You should get back to Thespis. I will. And thank you. Xerxes will rule at last! Happy to have helped, Your Majesty.
Have you come to learn about the mysteries of Hidani? Sure, I'd like to know. Let's start with, what's Hidoni? Hidoni is the goddess of bliss. And since we all seek bliss, we are all Hidoni. I'm not seeking bliss. I'm seeking an actor. We have no actors here, only teachers and students. Look, his name is Tros. He's an actor working for Thespis. I recall hearing that an actor joined us, but now his name is Hidoni. Like mine, everyone here is Hidoni. Just give me a straight answer. I need to find that actor. I'm sorry. I'm the only one permitted to speak with outsiders. But if you pass her initiation, others will speak with you too. Fine. Initiate me, Hidoni. What do I have to do? Wonderful. You must complete two tasks to demonstrate your devotion. First, climb to the top of the waterfall of eternal joy and dive into froth of fantasy. Right. And then what? Then, explore the cave of deepest self-knowledge and return with the treasure you'll find inside. Waterfall dive, cave treasure. Got it. This is the waterfall. Now to pick a good spot and jump. That cave must be around here somewhere. Ah, that must be the cave with the treasure inside.
looking for. jumped from the waterfall and found the treasure. Now will you initiate me? You have initiated yourself. Welcome to the mysteries of Hidoni. Hidoni, go talk with your brothers and sisters. They'll be happy to meet you. I'll go speak with them now. So, do you know who Dross is? Sorry, Hidoni. I've heard that name floating around, but I have no idea who it was attached to. Our former names and professions mean nothing here. <sighs> I'll have to talk to everyone then. Are you Tross? I'm looking for an actor named Tross. What? I had nearly reached the third level of Hidoni's godly bliss when you interrupted me. Now I have to start all over again! You get on with that. It's probably best you stay away from acting. Gere. Are you Tross, the actor? Um, I... Uh, no. No, I'm not him. Good. Otherwise, Thespis is terrible at choosing actors. Hello. Are you Tross, the actor? You must be new. There are no actors here. Our only role is to be hidden, to inhabit her grace and tranquility. You sound like you know something about the theater. I wouldn't say I know much about it. I might have studied a little Aristophanes, a little Everybidis. Medea was robbed, you know. I'm going to speak with some more hedonists. That's a good name. Hello. I'm looking for the actor, Tross. Is that you? Oh, an actor. I'd love to be an actor. But my friends told me I'd need to practice my stage presence first. That's wise advice. Good luck with that. Hello. I'm looking for Tross, the actor. Well, none of us use our old names here, but acting, I know about that. Make the audience laugh when they want to laugh and cry when they want to cry. And how would you make an audience laugh? Uh, well, I'd probably slip and fall on a piece of goat's blood. Works every time. I see. And to make them cry? I tell them about how much I miss my poor dead gold. And if that didn't work, I'd cut an onion at the same time. All theater trick, you know. Thanks for your time. I'll speak with the rest of the hedonists. We should use that name. We might get more people joining with a snappy name like that. You again, Hidoni. What do you want to talk about? If you aren't the actor Tross, you're certainly good enough to be him. Come act in Thespis' play. I'd like to help you, Hidoni. 
But I need to stay here, work on my enlightenment, all right? Picture it. You, up on a stage, showing hundreds of people how wonderful the message of Hidoni is. I'm offering you that chance. You just have to take it. That is magnificent. A chance to spread the joy of Hidoni to so many people. I'll do it. Good. Now go report to Thespis at Pelops Market in Elise. And get on with your rehearsals, Hidoni. I mean, the Fialtis. Alexios, my muse, my helper, the one who saves my posterior. I require your assistance one last time. You've got all your actors, Thespis. Your audience is sated. So, what's the problem now? Leonidas himself is the problem. Picture it. I was rehearsing a monologue, brandishing my shield, encouraging my soldiers. Come back with your shield! Or under it! I believe that's with your shield or on it. No, no, I'm sure it's under it. But just as I gestured with my shield, I slammed it into my toe. And now I can barely stand, let alone act. It's a shame you have to cancel the play after so much work, Thespis. We are not cancelling the play. We'd have to give back people's drachmi. The show must go on. My Leonidas is right in front of me. What? Me? I'm no actor. And I'm no general, but on stage I am. Think of it. You could bring the great man's memory back to life. He could live again through you. It's my destiny. I'll play Leonidas. Excellent. So, let's do a quick run-through of your lines. You already heard the first part. Come back with your shield or under it. On. On it. The next part is directed at Xerxes. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods in wine! I'm pretty sure Leonidas said, drench the gods with their blood. I know what I wrote. Finally, when you confront the traitor, today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Leonidas battled for all of Elas and its freedom, not just Sparta. I'm sure you'll get it right. If you like, go rehearse with the rest of the cast. But if you feel ready, to the stage with you. I'll go rehearse with my fellow actors first. This acting business is a breeze. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. Well, I hope you have a good show. So in our scene, I'll ask you to advise the troops. Then you answer, come back with your shield or under it. 
I'm sure every Spartan general says on it. That's what Thespis wrote. I'd like to go over those lines again. So in our scene, I'll ask you to advise the troops. Then you answer, come back with your shield or under it. I'm sure every Spartan general says on it. That's what Thespis wrote. Hitoni, good to see you. There's a lot of people out there, aren't there? I sure hope the good word of the goddess can carry me through. I'm sure it will. So, I'm Ephialtis the traitor. I'll say, I'm so clever for betraying you and the Spartans. Then you say, today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Why would Thespis write that? Leonidas was a king himself. He wanted the whole world to remember what he did. It's a work of art. Don't take the details too seriously. You're back. Good. Your words stuck with me, Mystios. The public will fear and admire my Xerxes. I'm glad I could inspire you. As King Xerxes, I'll insult you and the Spartans, the usual. So you reply, the Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we all drench the gods with wine. I know Thespis loves his wine, but Leonidas said he drenched the gods with blood. He's the director. I'm sure you can make his lines work. Do you need to rehearse more? Or are you ready to be Leonidas? I'm ready. Let's start the play. Welcome to our play, the heroic tale of King Leonidas and his 300 Spartans. Behold, your Leonidas. Thank you for being here. Remember that Leonidas was not only a king of Sparta, but the savior of all Greeks. Um, I, I am Dionikis. Yes. I am the general, I mean, lieutenant of the great Leonidas. Uh, oh, yes. I will serve him until Hades himself shows up. My commander, my, my king, we're, we're in a lot of trouble. What are your orders, sir? What does the Spartan general have to say to his right-hand man? Come back with your shield, or on it! I am Xerxes, king of the Persians. Your puny gods mean nothing to me? Kneel before my mortal self! You Spartan cur! I will grind you and your people under my sandal! How will Leonidas reply to his mortal enemy, Xerxes? The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say... We drench the gods with their blood! All right. I'm a Fialtis, exile and traitor. You know I'll bring doom to the Spartan army by revealing a secret goat path to the Persians. Those stuck-up Spartans won't stand a chance. I've defeated your plans, Leonidas. What are you going to do about that? The traitor dares talk back to his king! What will Leonidas say to that? Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember.
Great job, my friend. Enjoy the crowd's reaction, because I don't think Thespis will be happy you went off script. I think I can take care of him. I can't believe it! You ruined my perfect script! Didn't you hear the crowd? They wanted to hear the real story of Leonidas. I should know. He was my grandfather. <laughs> you never stop performing. I love that. You almost had me convinced, you joker. Here, you're part of the tape. Thanks. Maybe I'm more of an actor than I thought. This is the city we could see from Mount Enno, Sikoros. I've always dreamed of coming here. Please, dear gods, can anyone help? Those Atlas swine have ruined me! Ruined! You're in the way! Divine winds have brought your cries to me. Tell me what you need. Amazing. Please, friend, filthy bandits attacked me and stole all of my belongings. My tools are worthless to them, but invaluable to me. I am ruined unless you help. Point me towards these thieves, and I will bring the heavens down upon them. Prezius! I am the artist, Podiklitos. Hunt down the bandits and recover my prize tools. Wait. What is your name, Mystios? I am called Alexios. By the gods! Could it be true? What? No, nothing. Please, recover my tools, and I'll see you rewarded. Mystios! You must recover my tools from the swine who stole them. Doesn't look good.
asking. Faith. I found your tools. I can't believe it. Maybe you really are from Olympus. Yes, I am of the blood of Olympus. Amazing. Maybe those villagers from the new farm had it right. That is where I'm going now. And I could use an escort. What can you tell me about this village? Linu is a small region of devout villagers and farmers. Hard-working people. Very serious in their beliefs. They hired me to make them a sculpture of, well, the Eagle Bearer. Really? Why? They know your name and your deeds and believe you to be their savior. Why did you think I carried the blood of Olympus in my veins? Your reputation precedes you. And the villagers of Linu can't stop talking about you. Lead me to Linu Farm. I'll make sure you get there safely. Excellent. I'm sure they will honor you with gifts and riches. Then let's go. How did you learn of this village? My doctrine on beauty is renowned. Village priestesses came to my home in Argos and begged me to come and fashion a figure for them. You came all the way from Argos? They offered good crap me. It's not easy being an artist, you know. And what is the statue going to look like when you are done? You, I suppose. Me? They worship the Eagle Bearer. They told me lots of stories. A pretty fair description, though I expected you to be taller and to have a smaller nose. This theory of yours, who determines what is beautiful? Math. Math? Exactly. Beauty is an equation derived from the commensurability of all the parts of the body, from finger to finger, fingers to the palm and wrist, those to the forearm and the forearm to the upper arm, and like that, to include the whole of the body. Huh. Math. Gratitude, friend. You saved my hide. And you've given me great reference. Let us talk to the priestess Exioni and be properly welcomed. Good Polyclitos. You made it. Priestess Exioni. My journey was a test from the gods. But look what miracle they have delivered. Who is this? I'm Alexios. The Mistios you told me about. He appeared like a bolt from Zeus and rescued me from road bandits. The Eagle Bearer. This is an unexpected honor. Glad to visit. Uh, how have you heard of me? Certainly you jest. Your deeds are carried along the winds and sung through the stars. We are but a poor village. But your being here gives us hope to cling to in this hard world. And soon there will be a statue to capture a hint of your glory. To have our patron walk among us and give us divine fortune is a wonder. We will be eternally blessed. You do me a great honor. I am pleased to walk among your people. Oh, thank you, Eagle Bearer. There are many humble servants here who could benefit from your attention. Tell me their names. Uh, there is a separatist, Herifil. You can find her near the stable south of here. Akatos, the hunter, who has a small house on the west end of the village. And Menarkas, a young farmer. His fields are to the east. Who is this shepherdess? And what's her story? Herifil tends a small herd of goats. Recently, she had a scare in the forest and lost two of her flock to wolves. What can you tell me about the hunter? Hmm. Akatos is worried he cannot provide for the village since he recently injured himself. Perhaps you could ease his fears. Priestess, who is the farmer? Mm. Menalcas fears he is cursed. A visit from the eagle bearer could restore his faith and purpose. I will see what I can do for your people. Not my people, divine eagle bearer. We priestesses are but humble servants of your exalted greatness. When you have spoken to them, find me. My sisters and I want to prepare a proper celebration for your portentous visitation. Fiestituto. By, by the gods, it's, it's you. 
Yes, well, it certainly is me. You are a shepherdess. You, you know me. You know me so well. Tell me what happened. I was herding my flock when it was horrible. Wolves, blood and screams everywhere. Did you get hurt? No. You protected me. I did? I carry your totem to pray to, to watch over me. But I was so scared I dropped my totem as I ran. I can look for your totem. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where were you attacked? I was leading my flock to pasture through the forest south of the city. I know others have heard wolves howling there on many nights, but I took a chance. Tell me about this totem. It's a simple thing. An eagle of rough wood and crudely fashioned. It does not come close to capturing your divine glory, but still, it has kept me safe until now. Ah, I uh, wish it had protected you better. No! It is I who must apologize to you for losing it. I feared you would be angry with me. No, no, of course not. Don't worry, I'll look for your lost totem. Why have you forsaken me, Eagle Bearer? What have I done to offend all the powers on Olympus? How can I redeem myself? Forsaken you? I don't think we've ever met. Eh? Who? You? You? Yes, me. Tell me what's wrong. I have been cursed by the gods. They speak to me all day and night, filling my head with visions and fears. I cannot work and my crops wither. Why did the gods curse you? I do not know what I did. I've heard the voices of the gods day and night since I took over the farm after my father passed. The voices won't let me sleep, nor rest, and the farm is so much work. What is the curse? The gods speak of terrifying things. That the sky will open and drown the fields and my farm. That dark, writhing things will come from the ground and feast on my crops and on my flesh. That the earth will open and swallow us whole. I'll take a look around the farm and see if I can find out what has befallen you. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. You are of Olympus. They will listen to you. But first I must determine if this is truly the work of the gods, or if your plight is of a more earthly nature. These vases were dedicated to the gods. If Menarchos broke them, the gods might be angered. Demeter and Dionysos might have sickened his crops and polluted his mind. Look at this little guy. These offerings look abundant and long neglected. Not a good way to honor Demeter or Zeus. Huh. These crops stink. Could that rot affect the mind? Huh. I wonder if all the crops in the silo are the same. Water in this pot reeks like the sticks. Maybe the disease is seeping into the water. This seems like an earthly cause, not a sign of the gods. Menalcas is a sad case. Thinks he's been cursed by the powers that be. I told him that's ridiculous. Why ridiculous? Because if you wanted to punish him, you'd just smite him or have an eagle fly down and eat his eyes or the like. Huh? You wouldn't curse his harvest. I wouldn't? Of course not. You're the eagle bearer. Arrow of Apollo. Shield of Ares. Child of Zeus. Not the master of blighted crops. That's beneath you. So Menalcals' problems are caused by... Some kind of sickness in the crops. That's what's making him crazy. I think I've seen everything. Is Menalcas affected by the gods, or is there a more earthly cause to his illness? Eagle Bearer, do you know why the gods have cursed me? I think some infestation has taken root in your crops and is polluting your mind. What do we do? 
How do we appease the gods? This has nothing to do with the gods. I will set fire to the silo where you keep your harvest and burn out the rot to clear your mind. I... I hope you are right, Eagle Bearer. All that work, gone to smoke. No one said it would be easy. It had to be done. I confess, I do feel a bit better already. Thank you for all your help and guidance.